Hello, welcome back to another vlog. The day has finally come. I'm chopping all my hair off. Not all of it. It's not, I'm not like getting a pixie cut or anything, but I have been growing my hair out for the past like two to three years and it has gotten quite long. It's all the way down to my waist, which is insane because I never had long hair. Even as a kid, I think the longest my hair ever got was like to here maybe. And any other time you'd see me with really long hair, it was always extensions. So for me to let my hair get this healthy and grow this much is crazy. And I have been loving it. Like this whole past year, it's been amazing having this long, beautiful, dark hair. And I recently had beaded row extensions that I had removed a few days ago. So this is now really just all my real hair, but I'm just ready for a change. I just feel like I'm at a point in my life right now where I'm itching for change. I'm itching for like just a new fresh start. I recently cut my nails short. I stopped getting eyelash extensions earlier this year. I'm just like shedding right now, you know? Like I just wanna feel lighter, free, more low maintenance. And I've been talking about doing this for months now and I'm just excited to finally do it, especially because the past few days I just haven't been feeling my best. Like I've had terrible body image and I just feel very blah. So I feel like I could use like a little mini makeover, you know, just something different to change it up, get me out of my rut. So actually before I get my hair cut, I'm going to be getting my brows laminated. So I got to hurry up. I'm just going to do a little bit of skincare and just some light makeup because I am getting both of these services done by my coworkers. And then afterwards, I'm clocking in for a shift and I'm going to work the front desk. I want to look at least a little bit presentable for that, but also because I feel like anytime you are going to get a big hair change, it's always a good idea to have at least some makeup on if you are a makeup wearer. Because, I don't know, if you just have like a bare face and you're just looking like kind of tired and not your cutest. I feel like it's hard to adjust to the new hair and really feel yourself until you get the full look with a cute outfit, makeup on, etc. So I tried to wear an outfit that I feel good in, just wearing this basic long sleeve shirt from Zara and my parachute pants from Forever 21. And I am just going to Conceal these under eyes. I'm gonna do a little liquid blush. I hope my brows don't look too crazy because I know when they're like freshly laminated and they're like just sticking straight up, they can look a little intense. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara and that's it. And I'll put some lip balm on, but nothing on the brows, obviously. I am ready. I'm just gonna. Pull this back till it's time for my hair appointment. I will see you at the salon. Happy Friday. Here's my hair. I'm kind of feeling the little like flip out moment. So yesterday after we cut it, we didn't have like any extra time basically because I needed to start my front desk shift. So we weren't able to play around with it too much as far as the styling goes. I just asked her 
<clears throat> to blow it out straight and I wanted the ends like flipped out a little bit because I just wanted to see how that would look because I feel like that can be cute it honestly feels so good like when I first sat down in the chair I was a little nervous like I was excited and I knew I was ready to do it but it's still it's nerve-wracking like when they do that first snip it's like oh my god am I really doing this like all that hair like I knew I wanted short hair but I was like god that's a lot of hair like once it, it's cut off you can't put it back but as soon as she started going I saw like that first piece around my face I was like okay this was the right decision and with this length I really love how it looks with the side part like tucked behind the ear I'm really excited to play around with it and do different styles and like how cute and a little ponytail I love a little short ponytail and it's a perfect length because I can still put it up even in like a high bun I just have a couple pieces that fall and we didn't add any face frame pieces but some of my shortest pieces in the front were just a little bit too short for the length I wanted so we left those alone so it's just like a couple inches shorter than the longest length which is nice because I wanted it to look as blunt as possible and like all one length and when I wear it down it does but then when I pull it back I can still do like the little shorter face ring pieces because I love how that looks I almost forgot to show you the brows so I'm not allowed to get them wet for 24 hours, but I really like them. She also waxed and tinted them, and I think they look great. I told her I like a nice, like, thick, fluffy brow, but I didn't want them to be too harsh or too dark, and she nailed it. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. Today, I'm going into the salon to take clients. I normally don't take clients on Fridays, but honestly at this point, especially before the holidays, anytime I see that one of the other girls is not gonna be there and there's gonna be a station available, I open up my schedule. So that's what happened today. I have two clients. One of them, I did her hair back in the summer. I believe we are just refreshing her balayage. And then the second one is a new client she is also down for a balayage and they're just single booked so it should hopefully be a nice smooth day anyway i'm gonna get ready really quick i want to flat iron my hair and just see how it looks pin straight and i'll show you how it looks when i'm done okay i'm ready this top is like it's a power move because it is Definitely attention grabbing. I've had it for a few years now. It's from Misguided, so I'm sorry. It's probably not available anymore, but I think it looks so cute with the short hair. I flat ironed it. I love it, pin straight. I feel like it just looks so sleek, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing as of very recently. I've seen this trick like a million times, so I am not taking credit for this at all, but lip contouring you can do cream bronzer too i feel like usually that's what i see people do but i've just been using my physician's formula powder butter bronzer and i just take my finger and then you could use a brush too obviously but i just like this is so fast and easy and i just rub it over my top lip and i like this bronzer for it because this one's not super dark, so I feel like I can build it up. I don't have to be worried about like doing too much. And I just put it like on the cupid's bow. I don't go like all the way down because I don't want it to look like I have a weird like dirt stash or anything. But it just adds like a little bit of a shadow. And then I take my lip liner, some type of nude typically. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, like a pinky nude. I line my lips and then I fill them in a little bit with that lip liner too. And then I take the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump Gloss. After a couple minutes on your lips, it starts to tingle and it really does make your lips look so so good I can feel it starting a little bit it's nothing like uncomfortable at all but it just like irritates your lips so that then 
the blood rushes to them and it just gives them like a nice natural flush of color and it gives them a nice natural plump. I decided to stop at Starbucks on my way because I was like, I have extra time, but not quite enough to like make myself a full on breakfast. And I'm not super hungry just yet, but I know I should eat something. So I was like, you know, let me just stop and get egg bites. But I wanted to show you my lips now that it's been several minutes with the plumping gloss on. Love them. Anyway. Oh, good. I was going to say, hopefully this line moves quickly though. I hate that when you have extra time. So you're like, oh, let me stop and get food on my way. And then the drive through line ends up moving super slow. And then you end up late, even though you had extra time. It's a good day. Weather is beautiful. And I'm just in a really good mood. And I'm just feeling so much better compared to how I was feeling the past week or so. So I hope that you guys are also doing well or if you're going through a rough time right now, I hope that you get out of it and start to feel better soon. The last time I did this first client's hair was at the end of June. So it was starting to get quite grown out. Although I will say the grow out looks pretty good, but she was just ready for a refresh and she wanted to go super blonde this time, but still keep it rooted and blended so that it would grow out softly and be a little bit more low maintenance. So I just did a full head of TZ lights and we got her this really nice, beautiful, bright blonde. Also did a little bit of a trim came out so beautiful. I love it. And then my second client, I forgot to get a before clip, but she had a balayage that was grown out. She just wanted to refresh it. Really nice, natural, low maintenance color. And then I just reshaped her haircut. She had really square layers cut in her hair and it just looked really heavy and bulky. So I just softened everything up so it would just sit a little bit nicer for her and she was so sweet she loved her hair can't wait to see her next time hello good morning it's the next day i just got ready for work i'm going to the salon got clients again today and it's gonna be a long day i have two regular clients and then i have my friend Haley, her sister who's also a friend of mine and their mom are all coming in together because they all needed their hair done around the same time. And I was like, why don't you guys all just come together and we can all just hang out? So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. I am also excited because I am going to bring my new blow dryer to work. And Haley's hair is really long and really thick. She by far out of all my clients probably has like the thickest hair. So she is the perfect person to test a new blow dryer out on. This is the Life in Swift blow dryer. They are sponsoring this portion of the video. So thank you so much Life in. I'm so excited though. I have been testing this out and playing around with it at home and I am so impressed with this. So I'm really excited to bring it to the salon and start using it on my clients. Basically, I have the Dyson Supersonic Blow Dryer. I bought it years ago for myself and I brought it to work a few times and it's amazing because it dries the hair so fast, but it's really expensive. It's over $400. I am just so terrified that it's going to break or that I'm just gonna like wear through it faster. So. That blow dryer stays home. At the salon, I have a regular professional blow dryer and it works fine, but it just does not have the same power that the Dyson has. And I feel like it just gets really hot. I just feel like if I had a better blow dryer, it would save so much time. And obviously when you're working in a salon, time is money. So it would be really nice to have a more powerful blow dryer at the salon, but I'm not trying to spend $400 again and get another Dyson. So Lifen reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try out their blow dryer. So this is what the blow dryer looks like. So the airflow comes out through this end and then it gets sucked in down here. This is where your filter is. And it did come with three different attachments. So you have your diffuser and then you have your regular concentrator that's a little bit more open and then your super narrow concentrator. This is what I always use when I am drying with a round brush and they are magnetized. It's really nice and secure. 
and then when you turn it on, you have two different speed settings. So you have your medium speed and your high speed. And then you also have three different heat settings. You have cool, medium, and hot. And what's really cool is you'll see there's an LED display that will change color to let you know what heat setting you're on. So that's hot, cold, medium. And this thing is powerful. Reminds me completely of the Dyson, but it is almost half the price. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this to the salon. I am gonna use it on all of my clients today, and I'm especially excited to use it on Haley, because like I said, she has a lot of hair. So I will see you at the salon. I didn't get a before clip of my first client, but she was just in for a layered haircut. So this was the after of her hair. And then client number two, was a pretty heavy blonde and she wanted to go dark but she wanted to still be dimensional so I added some low lights to her hair that matched her natural root color and then all of the highlights that I left out I just toned down to like a light brown brunette color so this was her final hair Oh, it came out so beautiful. I love it. And then this was Haley's mom's hair. It grew so much. It had been, I think, like about a year since I last did it. So she was definitely due for a refresh. So we cut a few inches off the bottom to even it all out and make it look nice and full and blunt. And then I did a full head of little tiny baby lights you can see how little and fine those highlights are. And then I toned her. I completely forgot to get an after picture of her hair, but it was just a really cute, bright blonde bob. And then this was Haley's hair. Um, we were just refreshing that dark red that I've been doing on her for a while now. She just needed her roots and her toner refreshed. And then time to finally use the life and blow dryer i'm playing this clip in just like real regular speed so that you can see how quickly it actually works i always start out by just kind of rough drying the section first so that it's not sopping wet and then i go through and take thinner pieces with my round brush and get the hair nice and smooth and dry and I was honestly so impressed with this blow dryer and how it performed on her hair. It normally takes such a long time to get her hair fully dry. And even still, her hair tends to get pretty frizzy. But you'll see this blow dryer did such a good job. The motor is so powerful. So I feel like it gets the hair dry so quickly without having to use a ton of heat and cause a lot of heat damage to the hair, unlike more traditional blow dryers. It also releases negative ions to reduce frizz and static to get the hair as smooth as silk. And now I'm speeding this part up, obviously, but it took about 15 minutes to get her entire head completely dry, which is insane to me because it normally, with a regular blow dryer, takes probably like double that amount of time so as a professional this is great because obviously time is money so the faster you can blow dry your clients the more clients you can take it's also great because the faster you can get the hair dry the less time you have to be applying heat to it so it's also going to cut down on heat damage significantly so I love this blow dryer and if you want to try it out for yourself, they're running a really good sale right now. You can get $80 off your purchase. If you click the link in my description, the $80 will automatically be taken off at checkout. So make sure you guys click that link. But look at her finished hair. Look how shiny and beautiful. Oh, love it. Good morning. I look crazy right now, but I wanted to pull out the camera because I wanted to show you 
my brows because I think a lot of people when they get their brows laminated or want to they just assume that the way they look when they're like all brushed up is how they're just going to stay all the time and that's not the case like laminating your brows just means that you are straightening out the hairs but like there's nothing holding them in place until you put like brow gel or something so they will kind of like fall and go all over the place i just washed my face right now so they look a little bit crazy um but then all you have to do is brush them up to fluff them and then they're back and it just looks fuller like before i got them laminated even when i would brush them up they wouldn't actually like stick up straight like that. And for the most part, they will stay like that as long as I don't like, you know, touch them. But what I've been doing since I got them done on the days where I'm wearing makeup is I just use a clear brow gel just to stick them in place. But I'm gonna get ready really quick and I'll be right back. Put a little bit of makeup on. Now I'm flat ironing my hair. I washed it last night for the first time since getting it cut. It just felt so weird but so good like my head just felt so light and it's nice because I'm able to use way less shampoo now too and then I let it mostly air dry last night and then I just blow dried it to smooth it out and it literally took me less than five minutes and one of these days I will throw some waves in it because I am excited to see how it looks like that too but i'm really loving the short hair straight but it's currently tuesday morning and i am getting ready to go to work i'm taking clients again today i didn't vlog anything after i finished work on saturday but i ended up going out to dinner with Haley and her mom once we finished their hair and we went and saw the priscilla movie which was pretty it was interesting. It was pretty good. I thought the actress who played Priscilla did such a good job and she was just so cute. And I loved the hair, makeup, and wardrobe in the movie. And then Sunday was my day off so I literally just stayed home and did nothing all day, which was great. And then yesterday was a YouTube work day so I was just editing. I had a lot of video footage just sitting on my computer that needed to be edited, so I finally got caught up on that. Finally posted my Italy vlog. If you didn't see it yet, it is up on my channel now. But yeah, like I said, I have two clients today. The first one is down for a toner and haircut, and then the second one, I believe, is down for a highlight or balayage. So it should be another good, easy, smooth day. And it's a really cold day today, so dressing comfy this is actually our salon merch i don't know if you can see it but it has the salon's name on the back all right well i gotta head out of here in the next few minutes so i will see you at the salon that's a little bit better maybe <sighs> anyway I know I was a terrible vlogger some days you really like get caught in the moment with your clients and there was a lot going on the hair room was full today so it was just a little bit chaotic uh, so I just kept forgetting to get clips but both clients were super nice they just both had a lot of hair so I got done a bit later than I was hoping to but all good my first client had like a really really old grown out subtle balayage like she just had a few pieces throughout that were just a little bit golden and she wanted to just tone them down so that she would still have like a little bit of dimension but it so that it would just look a lot softer and natural and not as harsh so i did that had a cut and then the second one she had a really old balayage that was super grown out so she just wanted to be really blonde baby blonde 
was specifically the term she used. So yeah, it was a really good day. Between cleaning and everything, it was like a five hour long day. Not bad. And now I'm just straightening up a bit because my friends are coming over for dinner. We're gonna make dinner together um, and just have a chill night. Oh, and my other friend, my friend Nina, who cut my hair earlier in this vlog, she is going out of town for the next few days. So I'm watching her dog for her. So she's on her way. She's gonna drop her dog off. She had babysat my dog for me when I was on vacation over the summer, so. Now I am returning the favor, so it should be a fun night, and I'm really excited for Benny because I feel like I've been really busy working. There he is. <laughs> I've been really busy with work, and I've been working extra, taking clients more the last couple of weeks, so I feel like I haven't been able to take him out to the dog park or like for, you know, play dates and stuff. So it'll be really nice. The two of them get along so, so well. So it'll be nice for him to have a friend over for the next few days. Hello. Good afternoon. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm about to leave to go work front desk at the salon, but I just checked my packages and I got another PR package from Olaplex. I am so excited. I love Olaplex and they had reached out and added me to their PR list recently and I was fangirling so hard because I have been a huge fan and using their products for years and like as a hairdresser, anytime a big brand, especially one that you use all the time, reaches out and acknowledges that you exist, it is such an amazing feeling. These are all of their like little holiday kits. Oh my God, I have to show you. Merry Mail Day and Happy Holidays to you and your hair. So we got all these little minis here and then it breaks down like what the prices are for everything i love it so cute and adorable packaging and this is like literally an ornament that you can just hang up on your tree but my friend dropped her dog off last night so they have been playing they were playing all night last night both slept in the bed with me and then they played some more this morning, took naps, I went to the gym, and now apparently they're up and ready to play some more. But I need to leave, because like I said, I am working front desk at the salon. I also am getting my nails done while I'm there before my shift. I had removed the hard gel that I was getting on them and I chopped them short a few weeks ago. And I am really liking the short nails, it feels good. The short hair, the short nails, like I just, I feel so fresh and so free. So I'm gonna keep them short and I'm just gonna do a regular gel polish. Not sure what color yet. Probably like a milky white or something simple. Just like clean, neutral. I did square last time, but I am finding that the corners like start to kind of peel. And then as I'm doing hair, strands of hair keep getting caught on my nails and it is the most cringy feeling. Ugh. And then when I get home from work, hopefully I won't be there too late. Then I'm going to be recording my podcast with my friend Julia. So I'm going to go now. I'll see you when I get home. It's several hours later. I got my nails done. She did more of a round shape, which I think is going to be so much better. Just because right now, after having the hard gel on them for so long, my real nails are just paper thin so they keep peeling and breaking so I just need to like grow them out and get them strong I naturally do like I used to have pretty hard nails but you know constantly doing acrylic and all that kind of stuff to them can mess them up over time and the color I forget the name of it but she uses Luxa polish I believe but it's basically the same as Funny Bunny by OPI just like a milky white and work went really well it was a pretty slow night so you know love that can't complain i just finished making dinner some shrimp with rice and broccoli so i'm gonna eat that really quick and i started to set everything up 
for the podcast. So as soon as I'm done eating, I am going to record that. I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here though because then tomorrow is Thursday and that's where we started the vlog. So we have come full circle. It's been a full week. So thanks for spending the week with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you have any requests. I'm planning on posting extra for the month of December, but I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.